All right, my friends, welcome back. Well, I think I have a special presentation tonight for this one. This is a ThinkPad T60. Now, this is the cousin of the T800 Terminator. Oh, never mind. <laughs> this is a ThinkPad. Just kidding. This is a ThinkPad, a ThinkPad T60. Now, you might be wondering, what the heck is a Think, ThinkPad T60? Well, this ThinkPad originally had Windows XP, I believe, from around 2006. So I installed MX Linux 23.2 called Libretto, 32-bit, of course. And we're going to see if I can get this to work uh, without any snags with the simple screen recorder. Now, this, I believe, is based off a of Debian Stable, I am not mistaken. And unless you're buying a Chromebook, I can't think of anything more stable for Linux than Debian Stable. Rock solid. So let's take a look at this. MX Linux, Debian Stable, 32-bit, on a ThinkPad. Look, ThinkPads are the Lexus of laptops, and I've kept it because it still works. I can't do much with it, but hey, it works. So let's look at this. All right, so I tweaked this a little bit, not too much, but this is pretty much the default desktop here. We have a conky here to the top right with, with some system information, such as the hard drive, battery 27 percent memory this maxes out of three gigs i believe centrino duo yeah intel centrino duo powered by i think two and a half squirrels uh cpu usage 92 percent of course with the simple screen recorder one thing i've liked i've always liked about the xfce desktop the ability to right click mouse you know controls and all that and all your applications are right here Nothing fancy. Yes, yeah, somewhat similar to the Windows XP days or the older Linux systems, but that's okay. It's simple. It's the KISS method, right? Keep it simple, stupid, right? All right, let's move on. Uh, a couple of shortcuts here. All right, user manual, frequently asked questions, and so on. The start button, if you want to call it here at the top. Favorites, recently used, all applications. Categories here, accessories, development, and we'll take a look at that in a moment. Firefox is installed by default. I installed Falcon. Falcon may run a little bit faster. We'll see. The Thunar File Manager. Simple. All right. Uh, let's see. That's Falcon here, the shortcut there. This is the uh, one of the package installers for MX. The other one is Synaptic Package Manager. If you are new to all this, I would probably not use Synaptic right away. This will be easier because you can search by category here, such as audio, browser, uh, children, children's software if you have kids that drive you nuts. Just kidding. <laughs> Maybe they do. I don't know. Uh, preschool, primary, and secondary. Uh, you can even search for software here. So, yeah, if, if you're new to all this, I would probably use the MX package installer versus Synaptic. All right, of course, that's the shortcut for simple screen recorder. The little weather applet, basically with this, you could right click on here on the, the dock on the left and panel and add new items. I've always liked this. That's why I like the Mate desktop also. Anyway, let's take a look, take a look at the weather real quick. And uh, cold tonight and sunny and cold tomorrow. Well, it's winter in Ohio. Okay, let's move along here. All right, volume control. This is the mic volume for the um, simple screen recorder. Wi-Fi, another icon there for simple screen recorder. Uh, two new updates available. We'll skip that for now. Unmount. Battery, looks like about 22 minutes remaining, so I'll try to make this as quick as possible. So this year, I, I kind of played with the applets here, but uh, these are, I believe these are called action buttons, as you can see here. Log out, shut down. Now this is redundant and I'll show you in a second. So these I really don't need. I was playing with this, but then I thought, nah, and I'll show you why. Let's right click, remove, confirm removal, yeah. I don't need it because if I go to the top start button, as I like to call it, I have action buttons right here. So I really don't need them twice. As you can see, everything works. Okay, let's go, why don't we go to the start menu here? All right, or the start button, whatever you want to call it. Let's go to these somewhat quick accessories. 
Now this was a one point some gigabyte download, fairly light in today's age, but a lot of software as you see here. I can't go through each one of these. It, 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 it would take over an hour, but look, a quick look at the task manager. Even though I have the conky there, it tells me what we're doing. So yeah, CPU usage is high and the uh, memory usage about 31%. Not bad, not bad for this, you know. Bring the recorder, everything looks good. All right, let's go back here. Okay, so accessories, uh, development, games. Um, I did install Super Tux Card. I like Super Tux Card game for Linux, but <laughs> on this older machine, it to its credit, to the ThinkPad's credit, it runs not as smooth, but it does it does work somewhat. Anyway, graphics, internet. Uh, I did install Falcon Firefox by default. Uh, Thunderbird is great. I use this for both uh, Linux and Windows. And when you guys donate through PayPal, I get the notifications through Thunderbird. And thank you, by the way, for all of you. All right, multimedia, lots here. Uh, let's see, I installed Audacious Music Player. I installed Clementine. And of course, Simple Screen Recorder. Um, I did see that VLC is installed by default, and that's great for both Linux and Windows. XF Burn, CD and DVD burning application. Yeah, this ThinkPad has a built-in burner, CD burner. I think a DV burner, I can't remember to the right of this so yeah you know CDs you know those are like round silvery things you can okay well never mind so, <laughs> let's move along MX tools uh, a lot here uh, view view basic info about your MX install okay uh, tell me something I may not know now this does not have an SSD by the way uh, yeah so I'm sure if I put an SSD in this sucker this will run faster. All right, so it looks like we have Debian version 12.4, which I think is um, um, the book bookworm, I think. Support until June 2028, so we have a few years left on that. Okay, well, that's good to know. Let's get out of that. All right, let's, um, uh, let's see here. It makes boot options and so on. Let me scroll down here again. A lot of software for a fairly light system. And you know what? It's not bad. It's, it really isn't bad considering how old this is and not on an SSD. It's it's actually okay. You can watch videos. I'm hoping the recorder doesn't <laughs> crash uh, once I'm done playing this. And I may just let this record without any editing. This is MX Tweak such as the theming, the compositor, display, um, config options, and super key. I think I, I think I don't think I'll mess with this because I'm afraid I might, you know, break something to be quite honest. Leave it the way it is. Um, what I did want to look at, here we have settings and system. Let's go to the, um, and by the way, the conkey here, you can uh, simply toggle on and off. It'll probably use less resources, if I had to guess. Or we can toggle that back on. There we go. Again, simple if you're coming from, from a Windows environment. Really easy. Again, not too much of a download in terms of size, but there's a lot to offer here. Well, speaking of Conky, uh, I like that you can customize this fairly easily. So if we go search conky here to the conky theme manager this is what i want to show you i think this is kind of cool so go let it search the directories here now if i click the options here you can click preview now let's go through these one by one real quick just scrolling down there's lots here now you don't need conky to run your system it's just a little added option to jazz up your system as it were give it more style but lots to choose here and the fact that I can preview it if I want to install it is very nice um, this one ain't bad and uh, let's see if anything else catches my eye uh, it's something similar to what I have now all right that one ain't bad and that was really simple um, that one's good. Huh? Old style there. 
that looks like Egyptian hieroglyphics. It lists list it list let list the last list at time. Okay, well, never mind. The <laughs> system information. Uh, that's a good one there. That one didn't come up. That's a splash there. That one doesn't work. Will these work? There we go. Anyway, I think you get the idea. Lots to choose from here. So, yeah. Just a little conky to your system. So if I wanted to add this, I'd just click that. Uh, the widget's there, and I think it added it. Yeah, it's kind of one on top of the other there. I'd, I'd have to unclick the other one. So, but you get the idea on um, on on how this works. So I'll click that. And I think we're back to normal. There we go. Um, yeah, you know, it, oh, there's my battery warning. I need more power. Thank you, Arnold. I only have 16 minutes remaining, so I better end this soon before this uh, dies out. So I'm going to play with this some more. MX Linux, 32-bit. Um, yeah, lightweight. Still lots of software installed. If I put an SSD in this, I'm sure it'll run a little bit smoother. I was able to stream videos, not in high def with this unfortunately, but I was able to, able to stream video, stream music, um, browse the web. It works. It's just something to install to a salvage an old computer. And like I said, ThinkPads are the Lexus of laptops. They just keep going and going. And they seem to, pl to play very well with Linux. If you're looking for a laptop, check out some Amazon links below in the show notes to help support the channel. And some other links but uh, yeah I don't use laptops that much but it's either gonna be my Chromebook or something like this something like this by the way this has dual speakers loudspeakers almost like a boombox and this is something I might you know put in the garage while I'm cleaning the car or washing the car or whatever and just have some music playing this is probably what I would use because of the built-in speakers I don't I don't need to add a Bluetooth speaker to this because it's loud enough and it works so ThinkPad T60, the Windows XP era. Wonderful Linux has uh, revived this, so it still works. For how long? I don't know. But so far, as the name implies, based off of Debian Stable, it is quite stable. All right, my battery's down to 14%. I'm going to end it here. I don't think I will edit this. I'll leave it the way it is. What you see is what you get. Let me know what you guys think. A little bit of a longer video. But you guys will get an idea of the power of Linux. More power. That's it for this one. Thank you for sticking around this long. If you did, there must be something wrong with you. You know, if you did, just kidding, just kidding. Love you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. If it's nighttime, hey, enjoy your beer or whatever you drink, and I'll catch you on the next one. Arrivederci. Ciao.